All right, guys, we're back with, I haven't been keeping up with the training. And that's what you're saying to yourself at home. And I understand where you're at, but if you're not gonna be able to keep up with it, but you still want to, you've gotta at least get to a plateau and be able to maintain that. And if you said, what do you mean? I've got a recall on this dog. I've got a really good recall on the dog. So if that's the only thing I've got, I need to at least maintain that if I'm not progressing. Hi, Linnea. All right, this is you, Linnea. We gotta get to a plateau. Uh, Tell Paul we have a new program. I, I fly out to your house and stay all weekend and train the dogs. It only takes two days. Yeah, oh no, these board and train people have it down to four days now. So if they're that good, I should be able to get it done in two. You know, and we make Paul get us takeout and stuff. We drink wine. We laugh and laugh. <laughs> Lenny was like, sign me up. Uh, but, you know, that's what I'm thinking with this dog. I can at least maintain what I've got. I better do that or I'm awful. Or I'm awful. And I'm not going to get anywhere. And You know, that's why I know that these people are terrible. They're not installing a recall on the dog. Oh, here we go. Forgot about. Look at this shit. Unbelievable. He's trying to hide under Benjamin. Oh, she's awful. Oh, you're all in for a show. Yes. Hello, friend. Franchella. Thank you for all the likes, girl. I really appreciate it. I know you're a big dog lover. And this is the most easy to understand training for dogs. If you said constant's more easy to understand, it's not. It's not. It's hard for them to understand. And they'll tell you that. They've got to get used to it. Anyway, Benjamin, you can see what he's doing, though. He's, he's lurking around over there. The shoe bottom doesn't do that to him. She's very specific about who she does it to. Oh, she look at her. I don't know if you can see her. She's, so, she's still eyeing him up. All right, so let me see if I can get him over here. Oh, they're hiding behind me. I think you should see. Uh, Talbot's going to be in trouble if he tries to come over here. I think you should start out giving him something. And if you said why... You, you need to start out with every dog giving them something for nothing. And if you said why, because you're structuring yourself as somebody that has something that they want. That's why. If you, if you said that they don't have, you don't have anything they want, that's not going to be good. That isn't going to be good. color and I got out of there. It's not as easy as it looks. When you try it at home, you'll see. You should get a stuffed dog and they need to just be cooperative. And it's like this, Linnea. You've seen horses. My friend Brenda, she's got a champion um, done horse and she knows everything about horses. And she would go to auction, she'd buy different horses and stuff. But I remember a couple times she had horses that couldn't be tied up. You couldn't tie these effing horses up. Every trainer in the plan would try to tie these effing horses up. And they couldn't or wouldn't be tied. They would tear anything out of the ground. And they have a name for those kind of horses. Useless. Useless! You know, so it's got to have at least one behavior. If a horse has at least the behavior of being led, it's got a shot. If it doesn't have that, it could at least be taught to be led. If its training is so screwed up it can't be tied up, eh, you're in trouble. Here you go. All right, we're probably going to have to go on a little nature walk to get anything moving here. Because I'm not going to even attempt. i got to carry all this stuff. I've only got Grits and Talbot can go swimming because they don't, they don't guzzle like fat boys. And so I'm saying to myself, I'm not going to do anything when the dog is...
Okay. All right, so here we go with her awful, awful behavior. So we can already expect her to start being awful very soon. If you said, all right, well, the awful's coming out. It's working its way up from the subclinical phase to being right on the surface. And if you said they're just playing, no, that's, that's forced engagement. He's trying to get away. If you said, what, what do you base that on? He's making, he's making more evasive maneuvers than he is. And he's going to give her the shake off in a minute. He's, he's pretty confident with his strength, though. He knows he's strong. All right, so remember, this is where we let them run. I want them to run. If I don't have any ability to make them run, I don't have any ability to teach them to come to me fast. I've got to be able to control that. That's Gritz has three legs. Benjamin! Yay! 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 I'm hurrying! I'm hurrying! So I, I gave him a huge handful. I'm not stingy. One little treat. Sit. That's all there was to it. Anyway, I didn't wear any shoes. My socks are going to get all wet. I can see that. No, look at shoe bottom. No, she's just gone into high gear. Look at her. Oh, she's like some kind of little monster. Let's like a gremlin look at her, leading her little pack of marauders. That's how the know she hides by me. So I've installed that in Benjamin, and if you said, where would that come in handy? When he was far away from me running fast, I needed him to come back. Then it would come in real handy. Oh my God, I have so long people to get rid of this stick sticking out right here. They're awful. All right, look, Benjamin immediately starts looking at the fish. Look at him, he's fascinated. Oh, he thought that algae was a fish. <laughs> oh, Benjamin. I shouldn't say his name either. I should call him Fincha. Fincha. He's, he's seeing that little algae and they're thinking it's the fish. Wait till he really sees the fish. fish. It's like Flipper. Oh, there they are. It's like that show Flipper. I've got my own little flippers. All right, here they are. Watch. My bird's going to swim. Watch. And look at the tail on that dog. I, can't, I, I see you guys joining, but I can't read your name because I'm so blind. But that's what you're looking at. When, I say, when you say, you know, when you see a dog with a tucked tail, you know, what, what's the opposite? A dog is specifically holding its tail like that. It's, that's not its normal tail. That's not its normal tail, but it's... Okay, there's the fish right there. Look, he sees him. He sees him. <laughs> Scared him. Shoe bottom will protect him. But that's what you want to look at. Look at the tail. <sighs> yeah, they make efforts. They make efforts to catch him. Right, so look what I got. I got a dog. I'm gonna kind of make make sure he kind of thinks I'm just standing right here. Said what would help you if shoe bottom got over in front of him and i think you've always got to be saying to yourself if i'm training these dogs what is the environment is there something in front of the dog if there's never anything in front of the dog it's your recalls aren't gonna work they're not you've got to practice putting things in front of the dog not the dog facing you from a stay and then you calling it you're not putting anything in front of the dog and you're not teaching it to come when its back is turned. Oh, 
I make it seem like I'm just standing here? You know, my job is to get that dog with its back to me. He's kind of feeling me here. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Benjamin! <laughs> oh, my Benjamin. And get him coming a straight line right at me. He's a big son bitch. He's a big son bitch. All right, let's go this way. Doesn't really seem that big to me, but when I see him next to that big one, he does. You know, your job is to make that behavior occur. Not correct the dog for not doing that behavior. He's very, very fluid. And I think that's what you've got to say to yourself, and that is a valued... You know, how fluid is my training? Oh, look at shoe bottom. It ran right over there. Right over there to the neighbors. I'm surprised Benjamin didn't go with her. You know, if you think I'm going to get out here and play uh, tug of war with Benjamin, that's not going to happen. I need my strength to get through the rest of the day. But you're thinking in the beginning, you know, if I said initially you need to get it, as quick as possible, get two or three hundred yards of a dog coming at you fast. And, and also creating a boundary that's far away from you, you're going to have to have a way to get distance. And there's two ways. The dog can go away from the handler or the handler can go away from the dog. In most cases, it's that. All right, watch. Benjamin! And it's got a sound. It's got a sound in the grass, anyway. If it doesn't have a sound, you're not doing it right. All right, let's go back. Can't get, take grits out too far. But then the dog has got, it ha suffers zero level of inhibition. It's, if you're there, Mike, it's, it really is a level of disinhibition and you are creating that bigger picture if you could create dogs that just had all these behaviors as a default and that's just the people say, I don't know what it always did Here he comes, big and fast, big and fast. <laughs> so I'm saying, look, how, you know, how long did it take that dog to cover that ground from all the way over there? So that's what you've got to say. So I got speed and I got distance. That's all I need. If I'm just maintaining the dog at this level. He's a cool dog. You'd like him, Mike. I should just send him to you. You should just get a call one day from the airport. Tell we have a package from America. And when you go out there, oh, I'd put a collar and everything, though. Don't worry. I taped the remote right to the top. I'd already have it set to zero. You could just get him out, start doing the pager. Mike's like, yay. Mike's mom's like, no. You know, but I've got to at least maintain that recall on the dog. If I don't have the ability to go any further, you know, I at least need to be able to maintain that. Look at the tail, though, and that's what you should always be looking at. Even though people misread the tail. Well, it was wagging its tail when it was biting. <laughs> yeah, it's because it liked what it was doing. Oh, Gritzy loves it in there. Yeah, that's a big dog, though. It's a big, powerful, fast dog. You know, if I don't have any inside track on that, if my inside track is to put a leash on it and try to physically restrain this animal, I'm screwed. I'm completely screwed. And I'm saying to myself, it's resulting in a default. I'm not exhausting myself trying to keep 
myself interesting to the dog. He's making mental notes about me, but he's also saying to us, I can close the gap on that thing about three seconds. It's going to have to be pretty far away before my athletic ass can't close the gap on it. Whoops, and then he just trips. I mean, you can see, though, he doesn't really look that big, but when you realize how big Talbot is... Oh, here's my phone case. Thank God, I thought it was lost. Anyway, I hope you guys like that. Hang on, thank God I found my phone case. You know, but that's, that's what you've got, and you'll know you're getting somewhere. Again, if you're getting it as a default and you're not going to get the default, honestly, if it's going to run over there and you're going to fiddle with its face and stuff. You're not, I don't think you're going to get a default then, do you, Mike? Oh, you're not going to get one. You're going to get, I'm already fortified against that behavior. These dogs are nothing but a default. Oh, I'm just ready to get all the way into it. But I can do... And I think that we need to tell people part of the luxury that the pager affords you is to be able to start making some of your communication silent. And I want you to do this too, Linnea. You've got one of these older ones out ahead or doing something. Bump the pager and turn your back and go. You know they're already going to follow you. Just... It, it affords you the luxury of being able to communicate silently and innocuously. If you said, what do you mean? Like a cell phone? Yeah. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I am. I don't understand how we're in a world. I don't understand when these people think that the general public's going to accept constant. They haven't accepted it so far, nor should they have to. So it's never going to happen. Okay, there we are. Hello, Siraj. Uh, and, you know, Linnea, if you're not doing anything else with your dogs, then, you know, and you can't look sneaky, but if I see that sucker getting distracted, I also see, I also am making notes that I see this thing glancing back at me, but he's also saying to that, that thing is slow as hell. It's got to, it's, you know, it's going to have to get up pretty early to get away from me. But, you know, that's what you want. I think I would eventually, and I should probably start doing it now. I'll be careful, though. Start training him to run the road. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, boy. This might be squirrel episode. All right, now look, now he's being lured off with this other dog. And if you said, why does he stop at the gate? That's, that's the default, too. That's the default, too. I don't want him to watch. Oh, no, he's looking back. I gotta be careful. Okay, here we go. If you said how fast did he close the gap on you, I'm going to tell you. You're going to turn around. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. That's what it is. And he knows that. He knows that. He knows he can go. And he doesn't suffer any inhibition. So I did a couple different things. I did the pager. I did the name. But I also got way over there the last time he saw me. I was right here. I went way over there inside the gate. And I muffled my voice. And I want to get to be a better master of that. But I muffled my voice to make it seem like I was farther away and I was stretching it out to make certain you know and that's why that's such a good name because I can stretch it out uh, to make sure that dog knew that the direction of my voice was traveling away so anyway and I just found my flashlight that I run with 
Oh no, the battery's dead. I must have left it on. It must have fallen. It was on when it fell. Oh, how awful. This is what I run with, though. I'm going to get some batteries real quick. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go. i got a couple more episodes, and then the bug guy's coming. He wanted to come at 8 o'clock. I'll tell you what ruins my Friday. A bug guy at my house at 8 in the morning. Getting in the way of my videos. So I said, no, no, come at 2.30, because oh, the lawn people, they'll all be here then. I'll already be annoyed, so he won't be as annoying. All right, guys, be right back.